you had your testicles removed. Yes. <laughs> so what made you decide to do that? And then what was the experience like? So I actually got it really, really early, like too early, honestly. Mm. My friend talked me into it. Um, I was taking Spiractolone, which is an androgen blocker. So it blocks your testosterone. Mm -hmm. But I was getting like, I was super dehydrated. I was getting the worst back pain. And like my whole neck was just like, like on a scale of one to 10, it was like an eight pain all the time. Ugh. And Spiro is actually really, really bad for you. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of girls should start taking beca instead, but that's definitely up to the doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was four months into my transition, which is not supposed to happen, honestly. But mm -hmm. uh, I went to this doctor. Um, I was awake. And so my two other friends went to him and I was like, okay, this is fine. So I lay down and like... The most painful part is just like this big lidocaine needle going in each testicle and to numb it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. That one was, I will still ever for, remember that pain. And then, um, and then I was laying there and then he's like, Oh, do you feel that? And I was like, feel what? And he's like, oh, I'm just cutting you open. And so I don't know what possessed me to look down. <laughs> and I looked down and it looked like cherry pie. And I was like, <laughs> it was so <laughs> gross. I started like heaving, and he was like, "Do not throw up right now." And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Wait, you should have like a curtain up or something so you couldn't see. No, literally, I'm like, "Oh no!" Because they do the that worst. for you when they do a C-section. They put up a curtain oh, so you don't see. Because they have to take dude, your intestines out yeah. in order to take the baby out, so you don't it have to look at a, it. It was such a crazy experience. And then also while he's doing that, like that's numb, but like you can feel all of like the cords in your stomach. Like you can feel everything being pulled. And I'm like, oh, it was, it was, I had big balls though. Honestly, he had them on the table and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It was very surprising. I think, honestly, they were big because it wasn't... I didn't give enough time to have them shrink from testosterone blockers. Right, okay. Because usually they'll shrivel up to little things. But no, I. they were big as balls. <laughs> is that... Okay, so is that what they suggest? Because you said that you got it done a little early. So is it suggested that you wait until they shrink before you do that? So um, a lot of times they don't want you to do it. If you're getting SRS, they don't want you to do it until... Um, you do the surgery because mm -hmm. then a lot of times the the tissue it can atrophy it can die you can lose sensation from um the the orchiectomy so um sometimes girls get it and um i do testosterone cream mm -hmm. so it helps um the the tissue stay alive and healthy but also it doesn't like bring my testosterone up to like a male level mm -hmm. Wow. And then what did you do with your testicles afterwards? So I was able to bring them home. So I will never say his name because he could lose his license. Okay. Uh, and then like, I was literally just like in so much pain. And I'm thinking, and I'm like, how do I put this in my luggage? Because I just had a carry-on. And I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to fly with these. So my friend was taking a bath at the time. And I went over there and I was like, hey. And of course, I'm like doped up on pain pills. Yeah, of course. And I just chunk it at her. And literally, and I have a video of literally landing right there on the side of the tub. And she's like, you nasty motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what to do with them. She's like, throw them to the toilet. So then I flush them down the toilet. Oh, wow. my God. And I'm like, there goes the rest of my manhood. Goodbye. <laughs> do you like... Do you wish you kept them now? Sometimes. Okay. Um. Honestly, sometimes I like... I miss being able to come for like scenes. Like some, mm -hmm. I still be, I can still ejaculate, mm -hmm. but, um, and it can still come out, but it's like, I don't know. It's cute. It's not really like, it's, bam. it's cute. It's, it's cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute little cum shot. It is. It's like a little dribble, but honestly, like given that there is no balls, that is really hard to do, uh -huh. but, um, it's because your, I think your sperm comes from your, testicles and your semen comes from your prostate so the clear fluid comes from your prostate okay so though you don't have the testicles anymore you're still getting the semen coming through yeah the prostate so is that something that you have to work at doing like if when when you're ever you're having like a personal experience with somebody or even say masturbating does that happen normally or oh no? yeah I'm, okay. it's pretty easy if i'm really like in the mood mm -hmm. uh but also it's like even on scenes when i have to like 
work up to a cum shot, I can just like close my eyes and just go for it. And mm-hmm. then like, okay, I'm ready in like five minutes. Oh, so wow. it's nice. I don't have to watch like, and a lot of guys have to like watch porn. To, yes. like, and I'm like, how are you going to watch porn on a porn set? I it's like inception. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? There's been so many times that like, you know, the guy disappears to the bathroom. Yeah. And it's like, well, all right. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.